Well, one of the things we specialize in and our main focus is in high-rise buildings in downtown environments. So I'm sitting right now in the Wells Fargo Center building in downtown Tampa. This is a building that we are currently in joint venture ownership with New York Life Insurance. When people see a big high-rise building like this, including some very sophisticated people in our business, they automatically assume that I'm in ownership with somebody like New York Life Insurance. Historically, insurance companies were some of the most prevalent owners. In fact, if you went into virtually any downtown 20 years ago, you could just walk down a street and sure, it would be likely that you would run across a building that was owned at least in part, if not wholly, by an insurance company. And the reason that they like high-rise buildings in downtowns is that they're steady eddy, uh, what we call coupon clippers, meaning the cash flow is very steady and very safe. So when they sell life insurance premium premiums to 30-year-old recently uh, married couple with maybe uh, 1.2 kids, uh, they are hoping that that person lives to 104 <laughs> so they don't have to pay the insurance premium. And all during that period, they, they own these office buildings and they keep throwing off dividends. So by the time that person dies, they have not only enough money to pay the premium, but they've also got a lot of money left over, which they call profit. So that's uh, the history and the reason why you see these big giant institutions owning these high rise buildings. But um, it was, in, you know, the average investor, or even, um, you know, somebody that has a half a million or a hundred thousand to invest, would just walk by one of these office buildings and just say, oh, well, that's just way out of my league. I wouldn't even look at something like that. Now, all of a sudden, we have democratized the business through, through crowdfunding. And uh, it really opens up a whole new world.